I wish you all a happy nut year 2022 and a bloody nut year it will be. Happy? I'm not so sure. Except these pharaohs are happy and smiling. For us, it'll be just another nut year. A French viewer's feedback on my winter solstice ritual video said that Macron, Macron in France, and here depicted in an Iranian newspaper, is being considered as the most evil French president ever, and that he was brought out of hell into this world in a winter solstice ritual on December 21st, 1977, when he was born into this world and born into our realm. Here it says, Macron, he was born 21 December 1977. This feedback of yours turned on a whole avalanche of connections and visions appearing in my head, just as I had with the other feedback of yours. So I started to dig into it a little further. On winter solstice, December 21, in England, the gender bender agenda of the Adam and Steve marriage got legalized. So here it says, Adam and Steve action figures from the hit Bible story, the original sin sold separately. The very same day, Elton John gets married with film director David Furnish, like in a huge nationwide winter solstice ritual. For the obvious reasons, I didn't really want to show a picture of that. Instead of that, the down part of the Adam and Steve action figures, where it says death toys. It says death toys the company. Funny, huh? Here you can read about the winter solstice Adam and Steve ritual of December 21st 2005 in England. I would read it out loud for you, but I don't really want to pronounce all these words in here. Also, on December 21, 1937, in Hollywood, California, the world premiere of Walt Disney's film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs took place. Now I'll read it out for you. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs film premiere anniversary on December the 21st, 1937, America's first full-length animated feature film. Oh, you see, it was the very first animated film, the very first cartoon, and also the first Technicolor feature premiered on this date at the Carthay Circle Theater, Hollywood, California. And here it says, Walt Disney received a special Oscar for Snow White, along with seven miniature Oscars. And they all knew what they're doing, what they were doing. They all knew it, except you, nor your children. As we know, Walt Disney was a 33 degree Freemason, initiated into the Swiss Templar cult. So Snow White is a reference to the snowy Swiss Alps and main base of the Templar Freemason global rule. So here you see Switzerland with three Swiss soldiers with Swiss helmets 
uh, during World War II. And white, as in Snow White, also is a reference to the New World Order horizontal rule of the Perhet White House. So here it says, this is the white crown of Upper Egypt. Here it says Upper Egypt, yeah, which is in the south. And the Hejet, it's called the white one. That's why there is the White House the, uh, in Washington, because of the Perhet, the um, the, uh, the the meaning the White House, which is a pharaonic bloodline, the House of Upper Egypt. And here's the white. And the seven dwarfs is a reference to the seven heads of state from Switzerland. The seven heads of the beast, whom you can see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We all know this one, Mr. Perset. It says Swiss government in YouTube. And we all know this guy, eh? Look, there he is, Alain Berset. And um, unfortunately, you can't leave any comments here. Well, they took care of that, eh? The sound of silence. And every Swiss perfectly well knows the connection between that Walt Disney Freemason film and its reference to their country but of course they keep it hidden under the laws of silence all swissies know this but they keep it hidden in order to prove that to you i found two political pictures with slogans referring to the seven dwarfs as their seven heads of the Swiss beast and Snow White referring to Switzerland. land. So here you can see this Bundesbeschluss. Bund, it means an alliance, which is the Templar alliance. And the building here, they call it the um, Bundeshaus, the house of the alliance and uh, from 1291. And here it says the seven sieben Zwerge, that means the seven dwarfs. You know, it's it's um, it's it's a political thing here. And uh, every Swiss knows this. Every Swiss knows this. They they all do. I assure you, they all know it. Every single one of the Swissies knows this occult relationship but their lips are sealed like a secret swiss templar bank account if you ask them you know about the sieben zwerge in bern it's, oh yeah yeah well they know you know about the seven dwarfs they all know it yeah, it says sieben zwerge there's also some political stuff here and here they even talk about the Schneewittchen Bewegung, the Snow White movement. You know, can you believe it? They, they all know it, people. It's a creepy occult country. The title and the whole film is very occultly charged and born into our realm on winter solstice, December 21 which for them is a ritual. Here you can see all the astrology signs. And this here seems to be an octagon. It's all related to Switzerland. So this is also from the film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I should watch it um, again. Last time I was a kid. 
And here it says astrology, black arts, alchemy. This is Ma'at. What is Ma'at doing here in alchemy? Witchcraft, black magic, death, disguises. Oh, that's what they do. Eh? Sorcery, poisons. Um, here there are four teeth, concept of four. And this, the other round in the eye is the uh, concept of three for the compass. There's the serpent. The spider's web is part of a uh, of an octagon, of course. Octagon. I'm sure I'd, I'd find a lot of other things if I'd watch it again. And here's Fleur de Lis, of course. Frank Zappa was born into our realm on December 21, 1940. Here you can read it. Frank Zappa, December 21, 1940, and he died in 1993. His father was a chemical warfare specialist of the CIA, MK Ultra brainwashing program. Maybe that's why the name Zappa has to zap some TV program. And Frank's manager, Herb Cohen, an ex-Marine in the Congo, killing the African Prime Minister Patrice Lumumba for the CIA. All the 60s hippie musicians were in Laurel Canyon in Los Angeles, which was a setup by the military industrial complex to create consumers for the CIA's drugs trade out of Southeast Asia. It was like a huge winter solstice ritual. All the fathers of these famous musicians were in the army's head shed, like generals, admirals, CIA, you name it. When I escaped death in Switzerland on December 21, 2015, the Bolskine house of Satanist Alistair Crowley burned down on December 21st and same day and still in the realm of winter solstice. Here in this short video you can see it burn. Also the biggest mass murderer of the 20th century Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin got born into our realm on winter solstice December 21, 1879, as in a huge satanic ritual from birth to death and all the evil deeds in between of this very, very evil man. Here you can read it. Stalin, Joseph, birth anniversary, December 21st, 1879. The Soviet dictator, whose family name was Jugasvili, was born at Gori, Georgia. Just think of the Georgia Guidestones, which talks about the same thing as Stalin did. Connection, yeah. One of the most powerful yeah, and feared men of the 20th century. Stalin died of a stroke at the Kremlin at Moscow, USSR, March 5, 1953. Here you can see Georgia, the country, and here is their flag with four Templars crosses and here in the middle it's the cross of Saint George and here is the coat of arms of Georgia the Templars cross two lions and here Saint George killing the dragon the dragon that's us whom they want to kill so Stalin by his original name 
of Joseph Vissarionovich with Sar and Ri in his name. So Joseph Vissar Ri Onovich Jugasvili was born in the Caucasian country of Georgia because apparently Saint George, although dead since a thousand years, reappeared during the Crusades as a ghost to help the Crusaders and the Knights Templars. Therefore, Saint George becoming one of the patron saints of the Knights Templars, whose depiction I found on many Templars chapels and Templars commanderies, like this one here in the east of France, which I filmed in this video here. Now you can read it, Saint George, and on top of it, you can, if you watch the video, and so here on the same channel here say this is the title satanic templars turning their backs to christ on reverse chairs in ancient knights templar chapel here you can see again the flag of the country of georgia as the two last uh, pictures of those templars in georgia with their flag with their flags on their breasts and here the knights templar it's a knights templar website here I can't read the um, the slogan here. So the ghost of Saint George of the Templars appeared at the siege of Antioch in 1098. That was three years after the beginning of the Crusades in 1095. It appeared at the siege of Jerusalem in 1099 where there was the massacre of Jerusalem on July 14th and that's why the French their national holiday is being celebrated on a July 14th as a reference to the massacre of Jerusalem by the Knights Templars and the Crusaders also it was also seen the saint the ghost of Saint George by King Richard the Lionhearted who saw, who saw the ghost of the saint in Acres, Saint Jean d'Acre. And Acres was where the Crusades ended on uh, May 18, 1291. Two and a half months later they were in Switzerland. Also Godfrey of Bouillon saw him during the first crusade from 1095 to 1099 that was the first crusade eh? and initiated the story of saint george the dragon slayer so it was godfrey of bouillon who started with the whole saint george dragon slayer story and um related to the Knights Templars and giving birth to the country of Georgia, to the state of Georgia, to the Georgia Guidestones, because the Nazi Templars, they are the killers of history and Switzerland is their, is their base. So uh, he was the one, Godfrey of Bouillon, who initiated the story of St. George the dragon slayer in which we the people are supposed to be the dragon that needs to be annihilated and drastically diminished as in the saint george guidestones for which you might just as well read the nazi templar guidestones because georgia and saint george stand for knights templars so here you see again the cross of saint george and 
There he is, St. George, slaying the dragon. Here, this is the dragon, that's us. You know, they're killing us. And here's some other pics here. There he is again. And knights, you know, with the uh, the sun, Amun-Ra, the sun worshippers. There he is again. And there's some more. Here's the again the cross of Saint George. Here in England. Yeah, again, there it is. The uh, the country of Georgia. This is Barcelona. It's everywhere. Saint George, for the Knights Templars. So. If I go down here, it's easier when I do it this way, because there's so many. Flag of the, the Ab Abkhazians, there are people here. They, uh, they also, there's one of the, I don't know, 80 peoples that live in Turkey. I met some of them, really nice people. But I don't see the, um, oh, here it is, the flag of uh, Ab Abkhazia. Uh, or everywhere there's a a, uh, a Templars crosses in it and uh, there are the, the cross of St. George. So the Abkhazians except in Turkey they became uh, Muslims. They're not Christians anymore. Okay. Dunkirk Jack. I don't know what that is. The flag of Guernsey. The flag of Herm. No idea. Alberta. I think it's in Canada, isn't it? Here, yeah, Manitoba, Ontario, Canada. Uh, the flag of London, a Templar sword with the cross of St. George. Um, Anglican Church of Canada, there it is. This is probably f because of uh, Adam and Steve. They, they have the leaflets in front of their genitals well most of the time they haven't you know showing themselves to our children without anything so Hudson Bay Company here's the flag New South Wales Australians here's the uh, the cross of St. George Templars New England Maryland Prince George's County would be interesting to have a look at this here I don't know what it says. Oh, look at that. Prince George's County. Oh. And here, Jamaica, India, Royal Navy, the flag of Sark, wherever that is, with this, you know, Sark, the king, pharaoh, like Sarkozy, the president of France. Where is that? Uh, the Seigneur of Sark. Where the? I have no idea what that is. Uh, Portugal. Um, yeah, Sardinia. Yeah, Sardinia. I told you that there were the shards. That's the word Sardinia. It means the Pharaoh king. And the shards, they were the uh, the kings, the pharaoh's god, called the shards, the shardines, sorry. That's why there's the shard in London, the big obelisk there, almost looking like an obelisk. Ghana, Solomon Islands, well, King Solomon, you know, there you got it. Barbados, Bahamas, St. George is the patron saint of the nation of Georgia. Um, the, uh, they call it Jerusalem crosses, you know, the, the Templar crosses. Um, it's everywhere. Oh, look, this is the St. George cross they use in Sweden and Finland. It's a Templar's cross. So when they call St. George cross and it looks like a Templar's cross, you know, it's one and the same thing. The state of Georgia is one of the same thing. Templars, 
the nation of Georgia, the country of Georgia, Knights Templars. You just saw the guys with their, with their swords. You know? And if you follow the U.S. coastline going north from the state of Georgia, you'll find the octagonal Newport Tower on Rhode Island by most likely the Knights Templars. And the tower dates a pre-Columbus era. So this tower already stood there when America got so-called discovered by Columbus. And here again, the Newport Tower in the north of the United States on the uh, Atlantic coast. So here, Georgia, US state. And here it says, Georgia is named after King II, uh, King George II of Great Britain. Uh, there he is. So then you can ask yourself, where did King George II got his name from? Well, he got that from St. George, of course. You can see that in his flag, can't you know? Yeah, look. So here's the state of Georgia. I heard it's quite nice with mountains. Not as flat as most of America. So if you just sail north here, I think, I don't know where, Road, here, Rhode Island, you got the Newport Tower. And on the other side of the dip, you got where the Templars were, you know. So Georgia and uh, here the Newport Power Tower, they are not at the Pacific Coast. No, well, you got Japan on the other side and whatnot. No, you got it here on this coastal line where you got Europe and the Knights Templars on the other side. Got it? Here to the right, it says G-A-G-A. -G -A. That means the state of Georgia in America. Yeah, G-A-G-A-G-A. -G -A -G -A. And here it says everywhere, Knights Templars, Knights Templars. So here you can see no less than eight Octagon Templar commanderies in Georgia, USA. I have no doubt that these are the ones behind the Georgia Guidestones, the St. George Guidestones by the Knights Templars, the, the Nazi Templars. And one of these commanderies in US Georgia, St. George in America, is probably right next to the Georgia Guidestones. So they can easily go there nearby and perform some rituals on December 21st, winter solstice. Therefore, the Georgia or St. George Guidestones and its massive population control of killing 7 billion people is very much related to Stalin's population control and killing millions of Eastern Europeans. And as Stalin was born in the country of Georgia, therefore they put the Guidestones in the US state of Georgia. And also because both the US state and the Caucasian country were named after St. George of the Knights Templars. So here you see the logo of uh, one of the Grand Commanderies of the Knights Templars in Georgia, USA. It says, Acroce Salus. I guess it means salute the cross. Croce, it means the cross. I'll read with you here. In the image, the police are trained to kill us, and all uniformed organizations come out of the Knights Templars, who still give all the orders for population control 
mass murder and other through Octogon, the head of the Nazi Templars, who are based in Switzer land, the land of Tsar. This is also why the Order of the Garter, the union of Old World Order and New World Order, comes out of the Knights Templars and have the Red Cross of Saint George, the patron saint of the Knights Templars, in their logo, badge or crest. These are the ones who kill us and plan to kill us like killing some dragon, which is us. And here you can see their garter, which they strap over their upper leg, Oni Swaki Malin Pals. Here's the, in the middle of it, the, the whole thing is in an octagon. In the middle of it is uh, the cross of St. George. And look, there he is, St. George, and here, and here, and here, and here, killing us. We are the dragon for them. St. George lived in the 3rd century Middle East, where the whole set of rulers originally come from, and who rule over the entire world today, through their base Swaziland in the Alps, also called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. They are a foreign enemy who have become a domestic enemy.